For many centuries, humans conceived of the universe as a straightforward place. We believed that the Earth was the center of the universe. It was believed that the Sun, stars and other celestial bodies circled around our home in perfect harmony. This perception of the universe was primarily the result of our innate propensity to view ourselves as the center of the universe. As our understanding of the universe evolved, however we embarked on a journey that would ultimately lead us to discover our true place in the Milky Way, a vast galaxy. This voyage of cosmic discovery is a fascinating account of perseverance, inventiveness, and scientific advancements. Let us find our true place in the Milky Way together. Hello and welcome to Z. Subscribe to our channel and ring the bell not to miss our daily videos. To precisely determine our location within the Milky Way, we must first comprehend the true structure of our galaxy. The night sky presents us with the first set of indicators, a faint, luminescent swath of stars that we recognize as our galaxy. The band-like formation suggests that we inhabit a disc-shaped structure rather than a sphere. If our galaxy were spherical, we would observe a substantially more uniform distribution of stars across the entire sky. Moreover, the band appears to bisect the night sky, implying that we exist within its plane, neither situated above nor beneath it. It is impracticable for us to leave this plane in order to fully comprehend the Milky Way's shape. Such a journey would necessitate traversing hundreds or possibly thousands of light years perpendicular to this plane. For context, consider Voyager 1, the most distant human-made object. Despite having traveled through space for nearly half a century, it has only traveled a distance equivalent to 0.02 light years. This emphasizes the magnitude of the distance we would need to travel to completely observe the Milky Way structure. However, the lack of direct observation technology did not prevent us from determining the shape of our galaxy and our position within it. William Herschel, who is best known for his 1781 discovery of the planet Uranus, took the first significant step in this voyage in the 18th century. Herschel was not only an astronomer, but also a cartographer of the universe. Herschel's primary investigative instrument was a handcrafted telescope that allowed him to gaze deeper into the cosmos than anyone before him. He was a bold thinker and dared to take on a task that no one had ever attempted to map the constellations of the Milky Way. In the late 1700s, with the assistance of his sister Caroline, he embarked on a grand project. He divided the night sky into approximately 600 zones and meticulously catalogued the position and luminosity of every observable star within each of these zones. Using his telescope, he observed the night sky and mapped out the relative positions of the stars on a grid. His meticulous star count led him to propose that the structure of our galaxy was a disk. His observations also suggested that our solar system was close to the center of this structure. However, the map created by Herschel was not wholly accurate. He was oblivious of the existence of interstellar dust, which blocks our view of stars in the Milky Way's central region. Consequently, Herschel's map inaccurately depicted the central region of the Milky Way as significantly less dense than it actually is. His map was a major breakthrough in our comprehension of the Milky Way, despite its inaccuracies. It was the first map to depict the Milky Way as a disk and it provided crucial information about our galaxy's structure. In order to introduce the next significant character in our story, we skip from the 18th to the 20th century. Our destination is the Harvard College Observatory, where an inquisitive astronomer captivated by the cosmos is observing something extraordinary. Her discovery will revolutionize the field of astronomy and forever alter its trajectory. It's often said that in the theater of cosmic discovery, every star performs a part. This holds true not only for celestial bodies but also for the pioneering minds who've worked tirelessly to unravel the mysteries of the universe. American astronomer Henrietta Swan Leavitt is one of these luminaries who made significant contributions to our understanding of the cosmos, thereby enhancing our understanding of our position within the Milky Way. Leavitt's research focused on Cepheid variables, an unusual form of star. These stars have a peculiar property, they pulse, brightening and dimming at regular intervals. Levitt's job at the Harvard College Observatory involved cataloging these stars, a duty that led her to a groundbreaking discovery. She compiled a list of 1,777 variable stars. In 1908, 
she observed that there was a direct relationship between the luminosity of these stars and their pulsation periods brighter Cepheids pulsed more slowly than their fainter counterparts. This basic yet profound relationship, now known as Levitt's Law, enabled astronomers to calculate the distance to Cepheids by measuring their pulsation period. Standard candles were established using Cepheids to measure astronomical distances. Therefore, she presented astronomers with a method that could measure distances of up to 20 million light years. You may be wondering how this helps us comprehend our position in the Milky Way. To answer, we must introduce another important figure, Edwin Hubble. Before the 1920s, many scientists held the view that our Milky Way galaxy was the only one in the universe. In fact we had acquired images of what we now recognize as neighboring galaxies, such as Andromeda, but at the time, we believed they were star systems within the Milky Way. Consequently, the majority of astronomers believed that the Milky Way was the entire universe. As telescopes became more advanced, however some began to query this theory. They observed an increasing number of hazy regions in the sky that did not resemble typical regions of star formation in our galaxy. A significant obstacle at the time was the lack of a precise means for measuring the distances between stars. Stars vary widely in size and luminosity. One method for estimating their distance was based on their apparent luminosity. However a large, bright star located in the distance may appear as near as a smaller, dimmer star. Here is where Henrietta Swan Levitt's labor becomes crucial. Levitt had demonstrated that Cepheid variables could be used to calculate distances to galaxies up to 20 million light-years distant. Edwin Hubble decided to calculate the distance to the Andromeda galaxy by observing a Cepheid variable star within it. His discoveries stunned the scientific community. He discovered that Andromeda was approximately 930,000 light-years distant, extending far beyond the confines of the Milky Way. Even though this distance is approximately a third of the currently accepted value, Hubble's estimation was sufficient to confirm Andromeda's location beyond the Milky Way, thereby reshaping our understanding of the universe. The discovery that Andromeda is a flattened disk of stars analogous to the Milky Way prompted astronomers to ask, where do we stand within our own galaxy? Relevant here is the work of American astronomer Harlow Shapley. Initially, Shapley held the belief that everything visible to us was part of the Milky Way, a notion that Edwin Hubble's research disproved. In the early 1920s, upon realizing his error Shapley changed his perspective and began a diligent effort to catalog galaxies, cataloging as many as 1249 in only six years. However, it was Shapley's work from 1914 to 1918 that played a vital role in our endeavor to determine our position in the Milky Way. Shapley focused his research on globular clusters using the most sophisticated instrument of his era, the 60-inch telescope at Mount Wilson Observatory. These are clusters of hundreds of thousands or even millions of stars that are gravitationally bound to form a spherical shape. They are found either above or below the galaxy's plane. Globular clusters are among the earliest objects in the universe, with many dating back over 10 billion years. Shapley discovered that these globular clusters were arrayed in a spherical pattern around the galactic core, particularly in the constellation Sagittarius. This was a significant observation. If we were located near the Milky Way's core, we would see globular clusters dispersed across the entire sky. However, the majority of them are only visible near the galactic center, in the direction of the constellation Sagittarius and Scorpio. This indicates that we are not located near the galaxy center, as William Herschel had hypothesized, but rather in its outer arm. However, his calculations were marginally off from our actual distance from the center of the galaxy. He estimated that we were situated somewhere between 33,000 and 90,000 light years away. Our solar system resides near a small partial arm called the Orion Arm or Orion Spur, between the Sagittarius and Perseus arms, approximately 26,000 light years from the center of the Milky Way, as determined by the advancements of modern astronomy. The Milky Way is our home, an elegant spiral of starlight whirling in the cosmic abyss. Nevertheless, the enormity of the undertaking has frequently obscured our comprehension of its grand design, its vast composition and our place within it.
Gaia, the European Space Agency's celestial cartographer, has arrived, silently sailing across the cosmos and redefining our understanding of the Milky Way. Gaia was launched in late 2013 on a mission to create the most exhaustive and detailed 3D map of our galaxy ever conceived. Gaia has been assiduously charting the cosmos as part of a mission to examine approximately 1 billion stars, or roughly 1% of the stars in our galaxy. Gaia enables astronomers to study the Milky Way as a whole, tracing its structure, dynamics, and evolution. It helps reveal the overall structure of the galaxy, including the distribution of stars, the arrangement of spiral arms and the nature of the galactic bulge and halo. This perspective helps refine our comprehension of our position within the Milky Way and how our galaxy fits into the broader context of the local universe. In the discipline of astrometry, the study of the positions and motions of celestial bodies, the Gaia mission represents a significant advancement. It is not as well known as the Hubble Space Telescope or the James Webb Space Telescope, but it is a game-changer in astronomy, quietly transforming our comprehension of the Milky Way. The precise and exhaustive data collected by Gaia is a valuable resource that will continue to fuel astronomical discoveries for decades, propelling our cosmic voyage deeper into the universe's mysteries. Alright guys, that is all for this video, thanks for watching. What do you think about our place in the Milky Way? Did you find this information valuable? Tell us in the comments, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more enigmatic space discoveries.